Hey, what's going on guys? G.Casey here, bringing you some more Civ 5. Alright, so let's go ahead and hit next turn. And keep working on developing our lands. In terms of size, uh... I already told you I don't want horses. He does have dyes. Take away the horses, give me the dyes. Propose. Oh, that was with... Some... Okay, well then get out of here. I didn't even want those embassies. So pull it All right, we have chivalry. I actually should have looked at what that unlocks for us. Uh, da, 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 chivalry. Castles will be kind of okay. Yeah, Alhambra. I knew chivalry was a big one. I forgot what it was for because of Alhambra. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to get that. It just doesn't seem to suit my needs right now. If it comes to, like, ultimate endgame war and I'm trying to not, uh, like I'm trying to fend off whoever's left on the planet, then maybe it'll be important. And if they have it, then that might suck. But I don't think it's going to come to that. Alright, granary finished, so they'll start growing a little bit faster. Our happiness is still okay. Um, we need to keep them building things that's going to help them grow. The university for 21 turns does not seem worth it. Instead, what we'll do is we'll get the market, which will give us a little bit more money. And it was 480 to buy that university, so I'm actually not too far away. Uh, okay, university done here. Great. Uh, we can go ahead and get the temple. We are going to start spreading our religion a little bit now. I'm not sure... I, I feel like we should definitely be behind at least one other civ in terms of religion. World's most wonderful people. We are the most wonderful. We have five wonders, so... And we got another great prophet, Sweetness. So I can consume him to enhance our religion. We'll get an extra 100 gold. And we'll get an extra bonus to our religion. So... Oh yeah, pagodas. I forgot about those. Shit, I probably... I totally could have pagodas now instead of this uh, great prophet. But you know what? I need it anyway. So, second belief. Well, what do we care about here? Temples provide culture. Eh. Each wonder provides plus two faith in city. See, that could be good. I have some pretty good pretty good amount of wonders. And I'm building more. That might be a good one. Uh, faith to buy warriors. Don't really care. Faster growth for city if it's not at war. That's. I don't plan on being at war very often. This could be a good one, too. But you know what? Let's go with the faith. Or with the faith for World Wonder. And then the second belief. Combat, strength, near-friendly cities that follow the religion. Religion spreads 30% further away. 20% uh, combat strength. Profits 25% stronger. And earn with less faith. Religion spreads faster. Yeah, that one. Especially once we get printing press. I really like the idea of that. Alright, enhance the religion. If only it were that easy. Now our religion is more powerful. And I'm looking forward to seeing how that goes. Uh, something happened here. Pakal provided gold every turn. That stopped. But we still are not in any dire needs for anything important. Uh, one thing I'd like to do is come up here and automatic faith purchase for pagodas. Pagodas are going to allow me to just sort of build up passive bonuses to our faith and culture and a whole bunch of other stuff. I still have to keep an eye on things that are going on up here. Alright, we finished a trade with Theodora, but again, we're not in any dire needs for anything. We did lose some money. Okay, you finished a national college. That's great. Uh, let's get you a market. Let's not forget that we still have to build some of the basic stuff. There we go. Getting some salt. That's going to increase our happiness even more. Things are really starting to come together now, I think. I'm feeling better and better as it goes. There was a bit of a rough patch, and I still, at any moment, one of these guys can just flip the switch on us. But uh, the longer and longer it takes them, the better for us. Okay. Can we, we have a road here already. Something is stopped. Oh, because he wants to go this way. All right. Just come up here on the road instead. No, I don't care about the embassy. 480. Oh, we have our... Uh, okay, so next turn, 
Actually, I'll wait until, yeah, right now, when this should be one turn. There we go. Over here, I'm going to purchase the university. I'm excited to see uh, how this helps us out. I hope it really does. Okay, you are going to build a road. From here to here. Okay. We're about to have our city states that are our cities all connected by road as well. Finish the university up here. Let's go ahead and build some more things that will uh, help out like an amphitheater. Ah, man, that doesn't feel useful. A, a stable. That feels better. We only have one trade route. Usually I have way more than that. So that's a little bit strange to me. All right. Temple finished. Yeah, we'll build a stable. Help with production. We're about to get banking. Our cities are looking big. The caravan to Nukahiva is really helping out, and we have the happiness to spare now. So this is definitely a target. Like I, I'm gonna have a little bit more than four cities, I think, but I'm not gonna have a, a super large amount. I just think that this is one that I really want, and then I'll be happy. Who knows though? You never really know how that's gonna end up going. Um, okay, market is finished. Um, all right, so we want to build. Oxford University. Hell yeah. Alright, let's keep going. People wasting their stuff on the Great Wall. Happiness. We are in the, in the Renaissance area now. We got more city-state connections. This one's about to finish as well. Great Wall... Influence, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, soon we'll have enough money. Oh, we can uh, send a spy out. Okay. Our technology is not that far ahead. Let's see. Who would be a good spot to spy on to try to get extra technology? Someone who's at least kind of close to us. It seems like it's just city-states here. Well, I don't want to really piss off... Hmm, hold on. That's their capital, right? Yeah, okay. So, I don't care if I piss them off too much. And plus, I'd like to know what they're up to. So, let's uh, move him here. Every once in a while, you will receive uh, notices about what they're planning on doing and things like that. Um, and if they have any technology that we don't, then we can just steal it from them. Which is pretty cool. Alright, route to... Why can't you go here? Why are you blocked? Okay, fine. Come here. I don't know what this is. Maybe they're building a road there. Well, I guess we'll just end up finding out. Okay, let's keep going. So far we've been able to live the peaceful life. I'm pretty happy with that. I feel like we're doing relatively well. Our expansion city is the same size as Constantinople. Three things are to be looked to in a building. That it stand on the right spot. That it be securely founded, that it be successfully executed. A great scientist has been born. Sweet. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I don't know if this is the right thing to do. Actually, okay, this is going to be a learning curve. Okay, this is going to be something that's going to teach me. I'm going to move the scientist here. Uh, actually, let me check. Honolulu, you, you are working that tile. Okay. I'm going to move the scientist here, Mary Leakey, onto the wine. I'm sure she'll be happy with that. We're going to go ahead and construct an academy. It will... Great tile improvements will connect strategic resources on this tile to the trade network. So we'll lose one goal, but we'll gain eight science. So let's see how this works. All right, so for some reason we lost one gold, but we still have the other stuff here, and now we're getting eight science. So that's really going to help. I know you guys can probably hear the cat in the background. Once again, I apologize. She, you don't even want to know what I've gone through with her. She, um, one night I had her in this room where there's food and water, and I come in the next day, and she has chewed through my phone cord. Uh, my phone charger cord, so I can't uh, charge my phone in here anymore. And then I was like, well, fuck, that really sucks. Like, she's never done that before. 
Athia declared war on Ramesses. Wow. See, that's what I was talking about before. They have such a weak army that they're probably about to get wiped off the uh, face of the planet. Um, and then the next day, I leave her... Stupidly, I leave her in here again because she was in heat. So I leave her in this room so that she can, you know, be in heat and not really bother anyone. Um, and still have food and water and stuff like that. Well, she chewed through my headset cord. Which was incredibly annoying. Okay, stable finished. Uh, we're just... Okay, our happiness lowered by quite a bit here. We must have had a, a large growth spurt or something. So let's um, actually get this Coliseum. I don't like all this army shifting up here. A little weird. Discovered machine. The press is the best instrument for enlightening the mind of man and improving him as a rational, moral, and social being. Ironworks looks like it could be pretty good. Okay, everything is connected. We have a little bit of weird roads. We're going to go ahead and automate now. Uh, all right, choose production. Market was just finished. Um... Da, da, da. Amphitheater is like, eh. Coliseum. Or temple. We'll build the temple. Our faith is getting up there now. You cannot steal technologies from the mines because we have com we completely eclipsed them in research. Discovered that Pakal is constructing Hagia Sophia. Hagia Sophia, okay. Well, if he just started that, I could probably still beat him to it if I wanted to. We're about to have Oxford University. There we go. All right. Stable finished. Let's get the Coliseum. We gotta get happiness way up there. Choose a free tech. Well, let's take acoustics, the one that's gonna take the longest. Opera house. It's just like culture stuff that there I, I don't care too, too much about, but might as well get it. Okay. East India Company. The cost goes up the more cities that are in the Empire. Trade routes with... Trade routes other players make to a city with this wonder will generate an extra four gold. Eh, I don't know. Seems complicated. I don't really care. I am into the business of making gold, but I don't really think I need to worry about that one. Um, oh, we have a couple extra trade routes. We could go with some caravans, fill those out, and then make a caravan or <laughs> caravan or assery or whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> I have no idea how to say that word. Oh, Pakal finished it, so I learned about him making it right before he finished it. All right, let's uh, metal casting unlocks the workshop, which is good for extra production and things like that. So. We'll be building those. They are going to be useful. We are growing incredibly fast. And our happiness is starting to suffer a little bit for it. Finally, we're getting on this side of the map. Okay. Maybe we should start worrying about money then. Uh, who can we trade to? Kaiziel will give us seven gold. Let's take it. Actually, I probably should have checked diplomacy to see. Some of these guys probably want trades with us. Kaiziel. Oh, they do want to complete one, so that'll work with them. Okay. Choose production. Coliseum finished. Boosting up happiness. What's important here? The forge will help when we're building land units. The bank will give us more gold. Workshop will give us more production. Let's go with the workshop first, and then we'll go with the banks. All right, caravan finished. We're going to make another one. And we'll be sending him along whenever. Next turn, I guess. Measure what is measurable. And make measurable what... Oh, Notre Dame. I should go for that. Um... So I just mentioned that, uh, like, usually I'd like to keep the demographics to the end, 
But I just want to check really quickly about our military where we are. Okay, we're third place. We're above average. So I'm all right with that. I just want to make sure we're not like a weakling and they are going to... Someone's going to jump us. Printing press is coming. That's going to be awesome. Don't need embassies with you. I got to say, though, my map coverage is pretty poor. That's definitely true. All right. Where can I send you for the most amount of gold? Uh, let's go... Oh, we can... Oh, we give them five science per turn. Yeah, right. No way. Let's go to here and try to put some religious pressure on them over there. All right. Choose production, caravan finished. We're going to go for Notre Dame in 10 turns. Hopefully we can get that. All right. Another policy. Okay, we got to go with the land schnicks. But we're actually starting to make money now. So these guys could be useful. We find them in here, I think. Land They're 160. They're very cheap to buy. They're the same strength as a pikeman, but they're like half the price. So you can purchase them, not quite half the price, but uh, you can just buy them and use them to defend your city if you have a lot of money, which is pretty much where I'm going. And again, the longer and longer these guys lay off me, the um, better it's going to be for me. As long as I'm not like always spending my money on uh, random buildings and things like that. What's happening over here? What, what is this? I met Kiev over here. It's like a whole new world over there. What is happening here? Who is this? How come I can't see who this is? I want to know why they're taking damage, but I can't see. Barcelona. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, no, no, that's not their capital. Madrid is right here. The whole time, Spain was actually right beside us. Yeesh. And they're going to war and things. Okay. Good to know, I guess. All right, we finished the Colosseum. Uh, I say the workshop is probably a good bet. Workshop, yeah. I want to start getting those barracks and things done as well. Because it will be nice... Only now completing the pyramids, wow. Like to smile the most. We are the happiest. Theodora is not happy right now. So we're doing good there. In fact, we should have a golden age coming up kind of soon. Printing press is exciting. The zoo is going to be even more happiness. The leaning tower of Pisa is something I don't really care too much about. Although when you build it, you get a free great person of your choice, which could be really good. And it gives 25% generation, 25 generation of great people in all cities. So, not terrible. The Globe Theater is a culture thing. Enables the founding of World Congress once every other civilization has been met. Did I meet them all? I think I have. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I've met all of them. So, we'll get the World Congress and we'll be the founders of it. It is a newspaper's duty to print the news and raise hell. Alright, sweet. So we got a few things to do here. Um, okay. We finished a temple in Nukahiva. See, now the uh, production is starting to pick up here. Uh, what do we need? Well, we don't really need the Colosseum. Our advisors are basically quit off on us. We They want us to make a writer's guild. We'll make the workshop. Uh... Recruit Tarura has gathered enough intel to steal technology. Sailing. <laughs> he we still don't know how to sail yet. Um, Vancouver wants us to help with the invading barbarians. It looks like there's already units over here. Okay, workshop done down here. I believe I said I was going to make a bank. You know what, though? I'm going to build... So I'm going to start getting these uh, army buildings now. Just, be just in case. Just in case. These units are shuffling around like crazy. Look at all these Mayan warriors. This is a very inefficient uh, army. Okay. World Congress founded. 
Polynesia has discovered every civilization in the world. To commemorate this occurrence, leaders from around the world will come together in the first Congress of Honolulu in 20 turns to begin discussing the international diplomacy. As civilizations advance into later eras, the Congress will change and new hosts may be chosen. So this is pretty cool. Because we found it, we get to make our first proposal. So what can we propose? Well, I always love going for the... Uh, uh, which one is it? The world religion. So I'm just going to do that. Hail G-Dog is the world religion. So it designates a religion as an official world religion. Civilizations who have a majority of the cities as their, in their empire following this religion get an additional two delegates. The religion spreads 25% faster and its holy city receives a plus 50% tourism. There can only be one world religion at a time. Oh, people would be angry if I proposed that. I don't really want to make people angry, but I don't really know what else. Standing army tax would be interesting. Arts funding. People would be mad about science funding. Why? <clears throat> the World's Fair. It's always a good one. I don't even know. I'm kind of kind of stuck here. No, definitely not that. That will not be good for us. Uh, fuck it. World religion, I don't care. Commit. Yes. Okay. I found your proposal to the first Congress of Honolulu very troubling. Oh, wow. People are... They're starting to come to me and tell me about their angriness. Mayhap that was a bad idea. No one is saying they're angry. My score is getting really good up here. Uh, Alright. Well, yeah, like I said, no one's really like saying that they're super pissed off. So, finish the barracks. Let's um, make the walls. I'm going to go defensive for a bit now. I'm pretty happy with where I am, but not in terms of army. And if people decide to flip their shit on me and go to war, then I want to make sure that I have the best opportunity possible. I'm not too worried when I see all these warriors up here. These horsemen worry me a little bit, though. I don't have a lot. Are they? They're at war with Belgrade. All right, caravan. Uh, Prague. Keep our money coming. We're starting to get a lot of money, which is helpful. And we're about to have Notre Dame finished. Great Mosque of Dijin. Okay, maybe, um, so it's Askia that's going for religion, probably. We're allies with Kaiziel. Yeah, well, deal with it. We can easily buy a bunch of land schnicks to help defend if we have to. But having these barracks is going to be pretty good. All right, we got a golden age. More money. Okay, finish the walls. Amphitheater. I'll just go for the lowest, like the ones that take the quickest to build now. Barracks. Still feeling pretty comfortable. I don't think that they can do much with all their warriors unless they just upgrade them all at once. They have a knight. We finished Notre Dame. So we get plus 10 happiness just by having it, as well as plus 4 faith. So the pagodas are going to be dropping like crazy. Whoever can garner the most faith, oh yeah, that's going to be us. I think, anyway. I'm feeling like we're starting to take over in terms of religion as well. Let's build walls in Honolulu. Just be safe. I think we have enough of a lead. It feels like we have enough of a lead right now to focus on, uh, you know, being safe a little bit. Compound interest is the most powerful force in the universe. Economics, so camp gold yields improved by one, customs, holder gold, trading post. 
should be pretty good. We did boost. It seems like we boosted, but I don't know if that's because of uh, Golden Age or not. All right, finish the amphitheater. In Tonga, we definitely don't need this, so we'll go ahead and build. Um, well, I mean, let's build a castle. She is a border city, so let's build a castle. Okay, workshop done in there. Let's build the barracks. It's going to be worth it later on. I really, truly believe that. Oh, we might get these gems later, too. Maybe trade those away. Not that I really need to care about it at the moment. We are getting close to the end of this episode. We'll do a couple more turns. All right. Walls are finished in Honolulu. First of all, make sure we're not missing out on anything super important. Now, I don't really want to spend this time on these right now. Uh, Coliseum, no. Oh, we need one of these in Honolulu, so we'll build that. Okay, barracks finished. Let's get the walls. And we can see here with the walls, Tonga has 30 defense. Even more than our main city, I believe. Oh, 35. They just finished their walls. So, that's why. We have very good defense. So, we'll be able to hold off. And it's the one thing that I... The one thing that might catch me off guard here is that... Jack, like, look at all the units they have. If they just say, like, oh, war, then I need to make sure I'm prepared. We're, we got a ton of money coming in. Yeah, it looks like uh, Spain has got most of this area to themselves. Another great scientist. So let's see something again. So this square only has three food on it. So let's see what happens to it when we build uh, Academy on it. Okay, finish the barracks. Let's get the walls. Choose production. Walls finished in Samoa. Yeah, we'll just start going up from the bottom. Let's get some of these other buildings that we need. Espero que este trato reciba su bendición. No. Five gold per turn for that. All right, sweet. We still are getting for wine, right? Yeah. No, thank you. Petra was built in a land far away. Alright, I think this is a good spot to end. Let's go ahead and see what happens here. So, it, with three food, it's just going to add the eight science to it. So, it makes it even better. Like, I think these are pretty good. Might even be better than just rushing these technologies that I'm not really caring if I get all this stuff. Taj Mahal might be kind of neat, but probably not. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and check the demographics. Well, actually, let's just uh, start everything here. So, caravan caravanassery finished. Let's get the amphitheater. We can adopt the policy now. We can get this one, mercantilism. Uh, purchasing items in cities requires 25% less gold, plus one science from every mint, market, bank, and stock exchange. That's kind of neat. Too bad I can't build more mints, but still pretty okay with that. Do we have the gold? We do get the happiness from the gold. Very nice. Even though it's outside of our tile working range. Can't work that tile, but we still get the happiness from it. Uh, Alright, demographics. Wait, what is this? Oh, I can't do pagodas? I don't know why. Let's instead do missionaries then. We'll send them away. Maybe I just don't have enough room for pagodas. Um, okay, demographics. I keep trying to do that. All right, wow, things are really getting, uh, looking pretty good here. Uh, first place in population by a huge amount. First place in crop yield by a huge amount. First place in manufactured goods by a huge amount. 14 over here for these guys, wow. Um, no longer worried about the Mayans. Uh, GNP, first place by a gigantic amount, three times the amount. Land, first place by a modest amount. Soldiers, right where we want to be. Third place, not a weak, not a complete weakling like Egypt over here. Uh, that's not Egypt. I don't know who that is. Maybe it is Egypt. Um, approval, 
through the roof 100% and literacy, it's still only 8% better than average, which this is getting to me a little bit. I'm not going to lie about that, but uh, I guess we'll have to wait a while to see that build. Considering that's been our main focus, but we're completely dominating every other category, it's just a little bit strange. But I'm not going to complain too hard. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I definitely am, and I'll see you guys next time.